and happy St. Patrick's Day. I had a lot of fun making this video a horn camp classic by Milton Phibbs. His music is available through Veritas Musica Publishing, which I will link down below. As you can tell, Milt had a sense of humor that was outrageous and over the top, and it always shone through in his music. So in the spirit of Milt, when putting this together, I thought, how can I make this performance even more over the top? And even though this piece is originally for eight horns and flute, I pulled out my piccolo from high school marching band. And I guess Milt is still pranking me from beyond because this piece made me actually say the sentence, I need to practice the piccolo this week. So thanks, Milt. And now I would like to say a few words about Milt and some other special people. Back when I was in college, I had an amazing teacher named Kendall Betts. His favorite soda was called Moxie, which was known for its bitter taste, yet had a cult following of Moxie drinkers. And after he decided to watch his sugar, he started drinking Diet Moxie like a barbarian. And I mean, you're supposed to try and emulate the pros. So I always thought that if I too started drinking Moxie, I would one day be able to play the horn like him. But this might be another story for another time. So every year, Kendall would invite his best friend, Milton Phibbs, to be the composer in residence at his horn camp in the summers. And every week at the end of the week, Milt would compose something wild for the faculty staff ensemble to play. And it always had a wacky name and premise like Leprechaun from Hell or The Sound of Mucus. And he liked to troll his buddy Kendall by writing lots of high C's in the first horn part. And Kendall would be grumpy about it the whole time and then pull out his beautiful Lawson Descant horn and nail everything. And there is usually some sort of electronic percussion part that our beloved collaborative pianist Arlene Keys would play on the camp's plastic keyboard straight out of the 90s. So I saw that on the score and I was like, I got this. Milt was genuine and kind to everyone he met and always wanted to make people laugh and was very successful at that. When I was multi-tracking the audio, I even had to edit out my own laughter after the sudden pickardy third on the last chord. Milt was a genius of comedy and composition like that 
and it was a joy to record his music and experience his humor and personality again. This one's for you, Milt.